Hey, what's up? I got some more lore content for you guys. Players have been asking me what my three decks are for the seasonal tournament, so I wanted to make a quick little update video for everyone. Now, for those of you who don't know what a seasonal tournament is, it's basically an in-client tournament hosted by Riot themselves at the end of every ranked season. It takes place over the course of two weekends and houses the top 700 master tier players, along with a number of other competitors that get in through the gauntlet. It's a really interesting format, and I've played in every seasonal so far, even peaking top 32 in one of them. The general rules are you can't bring multiple decks that have the same champion, and you can't bring multiple decks with the same region combination. So, let's go over my decks and the general thought process I have when picking. Before I get into them, if you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button to stay up to date with my content. I make deck profiles, beginner friendly videos, gameplay highlights, and other lore related stuff. I'm on the journey to 10k subs, and this is the only channel where you get my specific style of content and in-depth guides, so you won't regret subbing. I also stream on Twitch often, so check me out over there if you're looking for live gameplay of someone who's hit Master Tier every season, even peaking rank 1 a while back. With that, let's get into the decks. All of the decks codes will be in the description below along with the mobile links links by the way. And first we're going to talk about Spiders. Now Spiders were my primary climbing deck this season. Um, they hit from, I think, Diamond 3 to Master in a really uh, quick amount of time. I think I played one or two sessions, like a few hours, and had a pretty good win rate. This is the list that I used, I have not changed it since. So I'm going to go over each and every list, uh, each and every number. Got the Rear Guard, Saboteur, Precious Pet, and Stygian. Four different one drops. So we got three, six, nine, twelve one drops. Very, very aggressive early game. Look at this one, two, three, and then our only five cost is a uh, decimate. So the entire point of this deck is to open very strong early game stuff, get some combos off. If you're able to get fearsome Stygian hits in, then that's a lot of damage. And you just play super aggressive. Sometimes you try to level Elise if it's possible at all. Um, but yeah, basically, we just bring a bunch of damage and we swarm the board and we play. Um, as wide as possible in certain matchups, or we play as controlled as possible in other matchups. You know, it really depends. So, the overall theme of my decks are Burn. I have Spider Burn, Pirate Burn, and Rumble Burn, right? So these are all using different champions, so I get to bypass the rule of not, like not being able to bring multiple of the same champion. And they're also different region combinations. Each one is Noxus and something else. So, the good idea with bringing three of the same deck type in... Uh, seasonal format is they all have the same bad matchups right so if you go into uh, a game and you have one good matchup one medium matchup and one bad matchup for your decks you're able to ban the opponent's bad matchup for you and then play into your good and medium matchups right so that's kind of the thought process of bringing three of the same deck type now the only thing that's really going to mess us up is two or three control decks in the same list i really really don't want to fight multiple control decks because as it stands the control decks in the meta absolutely one shot aggro it's almost impossible to come back it's almost impossible to win but you know we're still going to try our best and hope we get to dodge those matchups that is the risk we have to take um so yeah for the rest of the spiders we got burn burn doom beast frenzied skitter a little bit of nice fearsome push really good to see off of stalking shadows because you can get multiple skitters off on the same turn like on t uh, like attack turn six you like boom skitter skitter um and then yeah just direct damage also, I'm not going to showcase any gameplay of these decks in uh, this video. If you want to see gameplay, definitely check out my Twitch streams. I play and have been playing these three burn decks for the past like three weeks practicing, and I will continue to do so uh, throughout this week on and off stream. All right, so next burn deck I want to talk about is Pirates. Pirates have been around for a long time. I've been maining them since they came out a couple of years ago. Uh, they've gone through a lot of different iterations, a lot of different cards. This is the current list that I'm happy with. So... It's a little bit more, um, as you can see, turn four, five, and even six drop in here. That's crazy, right? A little bit less on the on the threes and the ones and the twos than spiders, but still has quite a lot as well. So we get to go a little bit into the four and the six, slow it down a tiny bit, but also have really solid finishers. So the point of this deck is to play the Corsair, the Butcher, which are really strong Bilgewater cards in combination with the Noxus Burn. That way you get extra bonuses, extra attack damage, and extra... Uh, stats from your Jagged Butcher. But it's overall the same game plan. We want to push as much damage as we can in the early game and then uh, burn the opponent using Decimate and Noxion Fervor as our finishers. We also have a random double up, but the big thing I need to talk about with Pirates is GP versus Darius. Uh, I've been asked about this number uh, a lot, 
that I run two Darius, one GP, but I have a really good reason for it. So the thing about Darius, not only was he buffed recently, but I think he satisfies the win condition of pirates a little bit better than Gangplank does. Gangplank is all about dealing damage each and every turn on attack and defense, which this deck can't efficiently do. We're not playing Poke City and we're not playing uh, GP Sedge Plunder that tries to like turbo level GP. So him coming out leveled is very unrealistic in Pirates. Sometimes you can do it and that's why I do have him in at one because we can play like attack turn one Corsair, uh, Demolitionist on two, attack on three, uh, maybe mi a defensive make it rain on four, and then we can try to get to Dairy or Gangplank, right? It's not very easy, but it's not impossible. That's why I still keep him at one. Whereas with Darius, the win condition of this deck is to just deal as much damage as possible. The opponent is always going to be at 10 HP by 6, unless you're, it's just doomed, in which case he should FF anyways. So Darius comes down and he's just a really solid finisher. Yes, he can get mini morphed. Yes, he can get vengeance, but you still have like the swarm on the board. And the only thing that can stop him is big single target removal. I think... He's just like a really good fit for the deck. That's why I like running both GP and Darius. And sometimes you open them both. Sometimes you can go Misfortune on three, into Zap on four, into GP on five, into Darius on six. And if you have GP and Darius on the same board, that's really hard for people to deal with uh, in the mid late game, along with whatever your top decking, other burn spells you have in your hand, other consistency draws with Zap. So it gets a little crazy. But yeah, that, that's my, um, my theory with these two. That's why I like running them like this. Um, and the one double up, I, I want to take this out for literally anything. I wish I could. I don't like double up to be honest, but, uh, it's, it's won me a couple games outright. You just have to really, really, really play around it and hope the opponent taps out. And then double up is a, basically a fourth copy of decimate all things considered. And the third and final deck I want to talk about is Rumble Draven Discard. It's not Rumble Scion, it's not Draven Scion, it's Rumble Draven. So there was a really popular deck a while back, it popped up for a couple weeks, a lot of people were playing it, called Draven Victor Burn. It's the same kind of uh, ideology as that, this was only about a couple months ago, so it should be in most players' recent memory. It was about getting Victor ramped up, and then you have Ambush for like Elusive Cheese. We kind of dropped that, and now it's a little bit more consistent because we have a Spell Shield champion to play around, which is Rumble, and he is a big boy. So we got like Might on him and stuff like that, Whirling Death to cheese his levels and push in a lot of damage. But it's also using the discard aggro synergy between Reborn Grenadier, uh, Boom Ba Boom making Flame Chompers, Fallen Rider, Lost Soul as a resource, you know, stuff like that. So this is the newest deck that I've picked up. I'm still kind of learning it. I have it mostly down. It's definitely easier to me than Jinx Draven discard list in the past. It's easier than the Victor Draven burn of a couple months ago that I mentioned. This is definitely more up my alley. I like it and I think it's easy to play and to teach. So we have like really strong early game stuff. We want to play like Zonai Urchin on the Fallen Rider immediately. If you can hit Zonai Urchin on defense one, Risen Rider on attack two, that's really good in the most matchups. It's really hard for people to deal with the fearsome uh, unless they're P and Z and they just Mystic shot him. Other than that, though, he, he just puts on a lot of pressure and you want to play like your discard um, generators in the early game so that you can play Rumble on four. If you can get Rumble on attack four, hit the right targets and you also have floated three so you can play Might or Whirling Death with him. It's absolutely crazy. It's one of the strongest turn fours in the entire game, if not the strongest, if prepared correctly. Um, so we play around that and this deck can just pull out 20 damage out of nowhere. I've been on an empty board or like passing the first couple turns into killing the opponent on five very very often actually this deck is probably the scariest and has the most surprise factor of the burn decks that i'm playing so i recommend trying this out if you're more adept at the burn strategy and you've already played spiders you know how they work you've already played pirates you know how they work this one's a little bit more tricky has more intricacies more combos and more discard synergy and things you really have to pay attention to resources that you have to be okay with discarding things that you want to play next or outright it takes a little bit of planning and a little bit of prep and that's why i like it this one is actually way more skill expressive however it is just as cheesy if not more than the other burn strategies and then look at how much finisher damage we have triple mystic shot triple get excited triple decimate we also have poros as conditional elusive blockers sometimes they're getting some nice elusive hits in but another cool thing about them is the synergy right they are a generated card so if we play ballistic bot Augment is going to ramp him up too, and we're also getting Ignitions, which are discard targets. So we're like 
self-fulfilling some of the deck's synergies just by playing the cards out and also having discard fodder for Draven Axe or making Draven Axe so that that can be discard fodder. Uh, Baboon, Riders, Ballistic Bots, Reborn Grenadiers, which is a burst speed attacker, by the way, if we use Draven Axe on him, and Rumble. I, it's so cool. This deck is actually a lot of fun. This is my favorite version of discard that's ever existed, minus like Vanilla Jinx a long, long time ago that I used to play. This, this, this deck is actually really cool. I highly recommend picking it up. Yeah, and that's it for the decks. So like I mentioned before, I do stream these decks all the time, so definitely check out the VODs or come by the streams if you want to watch gameplay of it, uh, ask questions of any of the decks, I'm always happy to answer. I will be playing these decks uh, this week and during Seasonals, which is on Saturday, so if you want to come check out the Seasonal Tournament, see what it's about, definitely uh, come check that out. Fun fact, that's also my birthday. Saturday, February 5th is my birthday and it's Seasonal Tournament, so I'll be doing a birthday stream plus playing in the lore tourney, so come by, wish me luck, and wish me happy birthday. It'd be awesome, I'd love to see you. And that's it for this one. Please like and subscribe if you thought this video was informative or entertaining. It really helps me out since I'm still trying to grow. I'll be releasing more deck profiles, guides, and gameplay highlights in the near future. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Laters!